Friday favorites. Let's get started right away. Pottery Barn Hydro Cotton Towels. I went to pick up two more of these the other day. If you could feel through the camera how soft these are. I just, I like the way they dry. They dry out fast. So I keep, guess what color? But they come in a few different colors and some of their colors are actually very pretty. But Hydro Cotton, soft, beautiful. Love them on a daily basis. The next thing is, uh, you know I'm doing that room, <clears throat> which will probably be complete by Tuesday's video. And I was at Lowe's the other day and picked up matchstick blinds. I have got blinds in the window right now, just cheapy little, and I'm not kidding, $12 pull down. They make them nicer now, but I wanna kinda hide that line. And so, I like, I actually undid this whole thing for you guys just to show you. That's the little balance that sits on top. But I am going to do a little trick where I love the texture of these. Now that's the right coloring for my house because my wood floors kind of look like that. So I just love the tortoise look of that. It adds a little texture, especially when I'm putting so much white and cream in the room. So I'm super excited about that. But I'm going to hang them higher so my windows look longer. It's a little trick. We'll talk about that on window treatment day because um, I will do that. I will cover that too. The other thing is that I'm kind of psyched about, you see that I'm wearing this hat. This is almost a company shout out to say, these people doing these hats, code word, some of you have probably seen these before, but what I didn't realize is they uh, donate part of the proceeds to like great causes. And this one is in our area to Wolfson's Children's. And it's like in the hat on a little patch. I just noticed that this morning when I went to put it on. But here's the thing. <clears throat> they sent me this hat. They sent me the wrong color. I ordered the black trucker and I got the gray. Because um, I think they just have two. I emailed them. Person emailed me right back. Not a problem. Keep the hat. We will send you another one. Which just makes me want to give more money to this because I think that's pretty cool. And I love businesses that are cool and they get respond right away. That's the other thing. I'm a respond, I respond. You say, I respond, let's respond, okay. Um, the other thing is, I am not gonna end on a beauty product, I will end on a beauty product, but I wanna address something because it is not a thing in my house, but it is something I addressed yesterday on that article that I wrote that I feel very strongly about. I have three little words in there and someone commented on it and I thought it was great banter. I love you guys banter. Your banter is fantastic. I said, set the table. Now if I'm gonna sit here and talk about loving your home, loving where you live, and we're getting rid of the clutter, but part of the experience, we all gotta eat every day, right? There's all dinner. A lot of us have kids, some of us don't. Some of us are alone, some of us are empty nesters, whatever, we all gotta eat. Setting the table when you sit down is such a nice experience. And it's not about time. I don't wanna hear time. We all have time. If we have this much time for Facebook and stuff like that, we have time. It's where you prioritize, what you value. And I personally, my kids were growing up, I liked sitting at the table. It was a thing. Yes, all my kids were in sports. Yes, we all had schedules. We all have busy schedules. So it's what you prioritize. Doesn't have to be fancy, but when I say set the table, I do mean a placemat or a tablecloth. You go, well, Pam, that is fancy. Mm, is it? I don't know. You just throw the tablecloth in the wash. No big deal. I'm not saying every night. I'm just saying you're creating the experience for sitting down to have a meal together. And that truly is one of my favorite things. That is, I believe so strongly in that. And now our kids are gone. I'm glad I did it. But now, even if it's just us, I don't want to just put a plate on the table, the bare naked table. Put a placemat down. Fork, knife, you know, be civilized. It's kind of fun. Have a glass of wine, whatever. But that's enjoying where you live. So that is huge to me, and I think it's important to create an experience. Now, I am going to end on a beauty product just because I keep doing this, and it cracks me up. Um... When I was younger, when I was in high school, a friend of mine had this in her bathroom and I've used it ever since and I just love it. It is just the Neutrogena Sesame Body Oil. 
And why do I like it? Because it's light. It's got a very light scent. I'm not into all these fruity and scents. And I was getting my nails done the other day and the girl's like putting this lotion on me. I'm like, it's like strawberry. Blah. I just, I'm not into the smells. But this is nice. It's light. And you just bloop, beep, beep like this. I actually like Capritone, but I'm going to get yelled at for that sometimes. I love the smell of Capritone. But this is just nice light on your legs, on your arms. Sesame oil by Neutrogena. So I hope this helped you this week. So I will see you next week for, for Friday favorites, but I'm excited for Tuesday because I think part two is done. I'm waiting for the box spring to arrive and then I'll put that room together hopefully over the weekend and I will have a part two for you. Enjoy, enjoy your Friday. Best day in the land, sunny here and I will see you next week.